Caffrey looked fully healthy from that ankle injury that really took him out of action for six weeks. But now comes the bad news. It looks like that he could be out again, and this time with the shoulder injury suffered in that loss to the Chiefs. Now, head coach Matt Rule says CMC is currently considered day-to-day, -day, putting his status in down for Sunday's game against the Bucks. If he can't go, Mike Davis will once again take over the starting duties. Meanwhile, in Dallas, with Andy Dalton sidelined due to a concussion. Garrett Gilbert, we've been talking about him earlier in the program, impressed against the Steelers, but it won't be enough, though, to keep the gig. Executive Vice President Stephen Jones saying Monday when Dalton is cleared to play, he once again will take over as the starter. More on the Cowboys. As the team struggles have been put into question whether head coach Mike McCarthy will return for a second season with the team, but Jones put those rumors to rest emphatically, giving his coach the vote of confidence. Absolutely. Unequivocal. You're changing a culture. You're, you know, you, you change when you change the leadership. And uh, certainly uh, we like stability. Uh, that's why we uh, stayed with Jason for 10 years. And uh, certainly we know, you know, these things don't happen overnight in terms of, uh, uh, you know, when you turn things around. We'll continue to, uh, you know, go to work every day and improve as a football team. In fairness to McCarthy, of course, he loses his franchise quarterback. The backup quarterback, so a little hard to evaluate in terms of that. But still looks like on the sidelines this past Sunday, the Cowboys looked like they had more juice with Gilbert, I understand. They did look good with Gilbert. Their offensive line, another issue. COVID-19, another issue. So yep. there's lots going on down there in Dallas. We're going to stick with Dallas right now. Thank you so much, Will. Here's what head coach Mike McCarthy had to say about getting support from his front office despite the team's struggles so far this season. Well, I mean, I think any time you, you, you have confidence around you, uh, it's, it's, it's important you know, to, to your program and what you're trying to build. But uh, I, I think, you know, like everybody, I know myself in particular, um, I'm, 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 I'm focused on, you know, improving each each and every week and, and, you know, trying to get done what we still are capable of getting done this year. Okay, they haven't been great. They've been pretty bad, but they also just almost beat the Pittsburgh Steelers on Sunday, guys. Anyone surprised with the vote of confidence from Stephen Jones? Nate. No, I'm not surprised. Um, that, that game was impressive. And I, I know they're, they're scraping together as much motivation as they can, playing with a fourth-string quarterback that people really didn't have any tape on. I mm -hmm. mean, if you weren't familiar with Gil uh, Garrett Gilbert, then you weren't familiar with what he was going to do on the field. But that gave you enough confidence to know that they have the talent. I think the most important thing about this team is that they're so good on paper, they just have to show us how talented they are. That's what's the most disappointing thing about the Cowboys. So disappointing. So the question was about the coach. Are you surprised then if they have all this talent and they're a two-win team? It, it, it all fell apart when, when Dak went down. Yeah. I think the one thing that we hung our hat on was that even though the defense was terrible at the beginning of the season, Dak was putting up 500-yard games. Did they play hard for him on Sunday? For Gilbert? For Coach Mike McCarthy. I don't know if it's for Coach. I I, to like be honest, did. I think it's for them. Mm. It's for the players. Because as good as these guys are and as locked in as they may be in these contracts, what happens with teams like this, it blows up from the inside out. This was about to implode. And, and oftentimes when these guys are getting paid as much as they are, they'll say, you know what, enough. Zeke's not doing enough. DeMarcus Lawrence is not doing enough. Jalen Smith is not doing enough. I don't care how much we're paying them. We need to blow this up from the inside and hit the reset button. This it's stops everybody Dak. from hitting the panic button. You're right. And listen, it's the cold, harsh reality that Dak Prescott injury was good for Mike McCarthy's job security I and mean, then it, it it's the whole season is a wash now their hope their quarterback broke his ankle they're floundering the problem is, is they were really bad before Dak got mm -hmm. so I'm not surprised at all that they got the vote of confidence especially since the Jones guys don't like firing coaches apparently next year is really 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 telling because I hate holding it sometimes teams hold on to coaches just because they want stability whatever this factor is when it's not the right choice and I would just point to a conversation we had a couple years ago about the Arizona Cardinals who fired Steve Wilkes after a one and done year okay. and we were all in our feelings and some people were really offended by it I think it was the right move they knew he was the wrong coach they're like we're not keeping him around for some stability factor we're getting a new guy and the, and the franchise is better Next year will be the Mike McCarthy year, and if they're not good next year, they should replace him. I also mm. think the Jones family uh, respects 
their wallets and they gave them a five-year huge deal. You don't fire a guy one year into a five-year deal. And I think they're looking at that as well. And I, I would argue the same exact thing you're saying, Kai, but I would also say this offseason really hurt McCarthy in that they put in an entirely new defensive scheme, an entirely new offense, right. and a whole new thing. And it was, you know, what's going on with the world. They weren't even – so, like, it's almost a mulligan at this point. I would Definitely. say – it, it, they're not going to blame him for this entire season, but you better believe next year, week one, all eyes are on Mike McCarthy. First year head coach loses his quarterback, yeah. loses his backup to a concussion and COVID 19. Not yeah. too much to work with. Okay, we all agree on something. A Look lot of teams that. are dealing with that. It though. can happen. No excuses. With their starter, starting quarterback and their backup quarterback being out. Look at San Francisco. You see them complaining? Jets look pretty good. Show up night. every day. Oh, I mean, Flacco falls Cowboys all the world's supposed problems. To be America's team. I'm just saying, there's a lot of teams yeah. dealing with a lot of stuff. So. so are you surprised then that Steven is coming out, Mr. Steven, Steve, Stevie, <laughs> uh, that he's coming out and, and saying that what he's saying? That no, he's I, I agree with everything we're saying. Peter's spot on. You know, the, the Jones family, they want their investments to mature. They're going to give it time. Kyle's saying if he doesn't do anything next year with a healthy squad, they should think, should think about replacing him. This is a wild year, mm -hmm. but I think finally the Cowboys showed a little bit of heart, and that's all we were. I do, too. I think they had some passion, something we've been waiting to see all season, and we saw it against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay, watching good. Dalvin play.